food rusting of iron formation of crystal these are the few examples of slow reactions now coming to the fast reactions so fast reactions are the melting of paper. ice burning of the paper melting yes. of ice it is fast burning a matchstick burning of crackers ma'am burning of a paper i'm yes. drinking water burning of tearing a paper crackers so these are the few examples we can mention okay for fast reactions okay now the next question is as you can see the change like there will be some initial and final state right initially it will be of certain and finally it will be of certain so can the change is opposite that was the next question so next question is can the opposite mom once can you go to the last slide change be brought about one minute yes ma'am can the change is opposite brought like can you bring the change opposite in opposite direction so did not understand yes ma'am we can reverse the change ma'am because can you reverse the change it means yes ma'am how can you reverse can you give an example where you can see change of reverse melting of ice yes ma'am yes, very ice. good so uh, one process we can discuss is ice melting so what happens on melting it becomes liquid right and liquid again on cooling it becomes ice so what are the conditions here students ice converts to liquid ma ice converts to liquid if it has heat ma'am and if liquid has a, a cool temperature it will convert into ice yes. so ice converts to liquid is which process melting process yes liquid converts to ice is freezing process isn't it so this yes. is an example we can tell and it is an reverse reaction melting melting of a melting of a metal hmm like gold hmm we can do we can do like the of folding of a paper folding of a paper Next, can you tell examples from irreversible? Like we have discussed. Ma'am, like tearing of paper, ma'am. Tearing Burning of paper. Ma'am, tearing of paper also. So, is there any change after tearing paper? There will be decrease in size, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. Tearing of like, paper won't do anything. It's just yes. Like the ripening of a fruit. Ma'am, like so when after you after ripening, you can't make into a raw one again, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. I'm Mom. making a cake. Mom or growth. Mom or growth. Yes. So we will discuss examples which were mentioned in the book. Mom, I have a cooking of doubt. food. Yes. Mom, time. I'm like burning of a paper. It will turn Mom, into ash. Mom, time. Go back. I'm making a paper. Time. Yeah, Mom. burning of paper. It gives you ash, but you can't make paper again mm. from the ash. Yes. Mom. Yes. Uh, so like, what's like? Like baking a cake, like what baking is that category? Of? Baking a cake because that's adding heat, but it's becoming a solid. Yes. How does that work? So these are few examples which are mentioned in your book. Okay. So first thing we have discussed what whether the changes around us are slow or fast. So the next point is the changes which are brought can they reverse? or not that we have discussed so the next point is are any new substance formed with new with the change are uh, any ma'am like uh, ma'am like melting of iron ma'am it will just form like uh, the type of melting iron it will just form a iron so like it. what is new substance if you are making any change if it is giving you new substance and that's irreversible like change. example ice is giving you liquid that is water so you are getting some new substance right yeah. so water to ice 
Okay. Remember when it's turning into what? What? So both are of same state. Let me explain. Both are of same state, right? Only water here is changing. Only the physical state, like from solid, it is changing to liquid. That's it. Then no more new substance is formed. Like suppose I am burning a piece of paper. Can I form a new substance here? No, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. I can form ash, right? Ash is ash here. Ash In this is case, good. no new substance. This is, the molecules are just moving apart. Yes, from paper you can uh, make ash. Yes. Ma'am, the melting of iron also, ma'am. There also no new substance, right? Like if we we'll melt iron and we will, if we we'll give, if we we'll give some shape, it will, it will also take that shape, ma'am. Yes. So when you are burning a piece of paper, what are the new substance form while burning? Some gases are evolved into the um, environment as well as ash is formed. So we can mention two different new substances are formed by this process. Okay. So in case of ice, ice is nothing but water and water is also water. Yes, Karthik, you raised your hand. Ask yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please turn what? on your video. Ma'am, uh, it needs some time to like start. I'll on it right now, but it take like 10 seconds to start. Ma can you? But ma'am, uh, my doubt is what if a solid turns directly into a gas? Which one? That is called sublimation. Yes, that is called sublimation. Yeah, the process. I forgot the process name. Yeah, actually you are late now, right? You joined late. No, ma'am, I joined early and then I put accidentally on airplane mode. So I was trying to figure out what happened. Then okay. I joined my after. So we discussed minutes. the question paper, then you are there in the class? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. For a brief so the process is started. called sublimation directly. Solid is converted to gas. Okay. Now, okay, next question is. Oh, I'm spending the Actually, there are 363 pages, ma'am. What? Down, you look, ma'am, 362. Oh. I think something was pressed. Mom? As I Mom? told you that there is no power and I'm sitting. Ma'am, there's a power cut in my area, so my video will be off. Okay. Mom, can you go to the third thing? Yes. Mom? Yes. Mom, what is under the ice, mom? What is under the ice pellet? That is solid. S with S I represented it. Let me write. Ice. So this whatever the physical states are there that we will mention at the bottom in bracket. So water is liquid with L. Done? Last line, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, you are posting the recordings in the Google Classroom, right? In YouTube. Yes, ma'am. When you are sharing the link in Google Classroom. No, no, actually. I'll share all the links now. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, because uh, if Mommy we can change go and search account. in that YouTube also, ma'am, we will don't find these videos. Okay. Simply on going to the 
um, the channel you can't find the videos yes ma'am we need to search for a lot of time ma'am okay. yeah ma'am and these uh, like coding classes ma'am if we just type coding it will come but these type of classes it will not come at all Okay. Ma'am, you have to keep a heading like a new subject, new chapter. The heading. Okay. Okay, I'm keeping the same heading. Whatever the chapter is there, like six, the foundation, everything I was posting the same. Ma'am, you know you don't need to keep six foundation. You can keep the chapter name with the yes six chapter name and then six the foundation today's date everything. Okay. So the next point is each is each given out or taken in. So can you? Ma'am, sometimes, ma'am, sometimes, uh, uh, when we are boiling the water, ma'am, it gives the heat out. But when we are cooling, uh, it just takes the heat. When you are cooling, what happens? It takes, it takes the heat. heat. Is it clear? Yes. so we can take an example like boiling anything like you as you said uh, boiling water or else burning a wood whatever the process uh, like it gives out heat right when heat is taken generally so give out giving out is called as exothermic change so remember that term exo means always out exo means out thermic means heat so when heat is released out the change is called as exothermic process and taken in is called endothermic change okay it is called endothermic change when it is endothermic change when heat is taken like example for exothermic change we can write a burning of wood burning wood okay whereas for endothermic change what can we write so do you eat glucose students have you ever eat glucose ma'am ah, glucose like glucose drinks like that type Whenever you keep glucose on your tongue, what happens? Ma'am, it like. Uh, Ma'am, the like it becomes kind of sweet. It becomes kind of like. Like whenever you place some glucose on your tongue, it feels it gives you cold, uh, feel right. Uh, okay. please. Uh, you can do after uh, the class or any time. placing anything on the tongue like the one like glucose or any sugar uh, like simply on keeping it gives you a cool like cold feel on the tongue so why because here the glucose is taken in from your tongue ma'am okay. on like on the video video thing uh, you can just mention the date in the heading on the video Yes, I'll mention the date and in the recent videos which are uploaded in the recent videos column, you can see the recent videos. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, but how is glucose taken in? So glucose, it is generally available, right, in the market, which is there, glucose, which is available. I know, ma'am. How it is taken in our mouth, like what? Said... Like whenever you are eating, whenever you keep on your tongue. like while eating when you keep in your mouth you will feel like cool it oh, gives you cool uh, feel ma'am when the heat is given out it's called as ex exothermic it is heat is taken yes it is exothermic Ma i'm talking about but, endothermic but if it is like in if it is in endothermic means like the surrounding that is cold like that actually here what happens the glucose is taking heat from your tongue because of it your tongue is feeling cool understood yeah ma'am so tongue feels cold when 
you place some glucose on it mom even placing the ice cube on your skin is it also endothermal yes because uh, you feel cool right it means it is taking heat from your tongue this is mom, because mom then yes mom is because ma'am hmm so the heat that is given out is called exothermic me mm -hmm. exothermic change means like the heat that is given out we won't get any cold but in endothermic change it is in so when we feel cold and the surrounding no like we take heat but our tongue like feels very cold like that you mean no here uh, glucose is taking heat from the tongue yes ma'am so glucose is taking in taking heat oh, which is changing ma'am you mean like when we keep an uh, item in our mouth if it's taking away the heat it feels yeah, very cool yeah we feel cool the yes ah uh, okay so this is because glucose is taking heat from your tongue ma'am you sent the notes for the last chapter right in whatsapp in not whatsapp i'm sharing on the resource of wise app okay ma'am to dissolve in saliva okay actually glucose has to dissolve in our saliva right in that dissolving process what glucose do is glucose take heat from the tongue and it uh, cools our tongue and it dissolves and it dissolves in the saliva okay i'm on about tongue it will come in endo thermic change or also anything heat is about giving it. out heat right so heat uh, can be considered as exothermic change in the heat i'm actually not only like what is this not only like in our mouth if we take an ice cube keep it in our hand the heat let is gone let me our give hands. an example if solid that is ice ice is converting into water yes ma'am it is endothermic reaction Now what so, about exothermic? See, in conversion of ice to water, what ice needs, students? Ice, ice needs some heat, right? Yes, ma'am. Ice. So it is taking in heat. So it is endothermic process. And then water again, it yes. is converting into vapor. Yes. So again, it needs heat. So it is taking heat. It is endothermic yes. process. Then, uh, vapor to water means you are cooling it. You are cooling the vapor to water. So it is exothermic process. in cooling process always heat is evolved okay and from water to ice again it is exothermic process huh understood yeah ma'am yes. ma'am yeah. ma'am not only about tongue so in our body we will have sweat by playing or doing stuff yes, right yes everywhere you can find the change like you exothermic means whenever there is a heat change whether in or out you can consider any example for exothermic and endothermic ma'am i know for endothermic look we in our body sweat will be there you will mm -hmm. take an ice cube hold it in your hand mm -hmm. it will melt right yes it will take away the heat and our hands will uh, the fingers will be very cooled up then the sweat will come out absorbing and it will melt like that also it will come an example Yes, ice comes an example already we discussed. Ice converting into water, it takes heat from our body as well. So always, wherever the heat is more, heat is taken. Okay, next. Mom, can you do it a bit slide back? This one? No, a bit back. Now. Okay, I'll add these in the previous one. Okay. Done. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 
Mom, do we have a quiz? Yes, ma'am. Can you keep? We just started today the lesson. How can there there be a quiz? Until Mom, what we learn? Let today? me discuss a few more. Like actually, this class, um, as it is very small chapter, only one or two classes are enough for this uh, category. Mom. Okay. Yes. Okay, is there any like a uh, short word for endothermic and like a uh, exothermic? Does what? it have any short form word? For exo and endothermic short form? Yeah, ma'am. No short form actually. So we will use the same term exothermic and endothermic. Lokesh is asking that can yes, you Yes, actually the class is still 6.15. So I'll give uh, at 6 or 6.5 quiz. Okay? I'll conduct a quiz at 6 or 6.5. Ma'am, class is still 6.15, ma'am. Yes, I as I have started at uh, 5.15, so class will be until 6.15. Okay, now... Yes. Ma'am, then keeping a quiz or like that, you can ask question or you can ask people what we learned today. Can you uh, do a seminar on it? Okay. Anything is fine. So the next one is, uh, so ch generally the change is, we can tell the change in two categories. One is physical change. Other is chemical change. Chemical change. And any existing securities change. I may remember this from fifth or fourth grade. What? Um, we learned this in fifth or fourth grade for me. Yes, the same thing. Okay. So physical change means in physical change, just uh, it is actually a reversible change. It is reversible. You know, right? What are reversible just now? We discussed yeah, whatever the change Mama, is. Mama Mama and, uh, reversible. Yes. And in physical change, no new substance is formed. No new substance formed. Okay? Whereas in chemical change, it is irreversible. Because in chemical change, new substances are formed and that new substance... Uh, Already new substance is formed means you cannot make the initial one. Like suppose I'm grinding uh, um, rice. What happens if I grind rice? Ma'am, it will become a rice paste. Yes, we can make a paste. So, can I make paste back to rice? No, ma'am. Oh, ma it is impossible, right? Already paste is formed, which is a new compound. So, new substance is formed and it cannot be irreversible. So, new substance is formed. So can you tell me a few examples for physical changes? Like just we have discussed melting process. Oh isn't God. it? In condensation. In melting, condensation, everything. Like we can take simply as ice. In ice, which is nothing but water, water only changing the state. So it is converting, Mommy. but no new substance is formed in all the cases. So we can write melting process, Gabriel. freezing process, vaporization process or evaporation process. Both are same. Next, uh, condensation. Ma yes. Mom, I have a like, doubt. I heard something called transpiration. What like process is that? So transpiration and evaporation both are same. Actually, in transpiration, generally, you see, get it from uh, wait, wait. Evaporation means loss of water in the form of vapors, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So loss of water in the form of vapor. So transpiration is also the same loss of water in the form of vapor. The transpiration occurs in living organisms, like in the plants, whereas evaporation occurs everywhere. Okay, okay. in the non-living substance, on the floor, wherever it can be possible, in everywhere evaporation takes place. But um, 
transmigration takes place only in the living organisms in the plants okay okay next glowing of bulb can i write example yes ma'am yes ma'am okay next what else i can write Ma'am, sublimation. Expansion, contraction. Ma'am, ma'am, deposition. Yes, deposition. Ma'am, what is deposition? Deposition. The reverse of uh, sublimation. Sublimation, reverse. So sublimation means solid is converted to gas. Gas is converted to solid is deposition. So if you are heating camphor, it gives you vapors, right? Yes, yeah, that is carpura me as I said, yeah. camphor. So if you cool that vapors, again camphor is formed. So that process is called deposition. Like changing gas to solid is deposition. Yes, changing gas to solid is evaporation. Next, for chemical changes, what are the examples we can write? Actually, it is a uh, irreversible process and new substances are formed. Okay. Ma'am, burning of a wood. Yes, burning process, anything burning, cooking of food, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. So you will mix all the ingredients and you can't separate it again like previous one. Next, rusting. So these are the examples we can study. Okay. Um, rusting can be reversed, ma'am. Rusting can be reversed? No, no ma'am. Can you make like, don't tell the process rust, like we will we can... rub. Uh, we will rub and we will make it as a new one. So it is completely different. Okay. okay. So now here, see, we discussed about two terms, expansion and contraction. So what is expansion and contraction? Ma'am, can I? Yes. Ma'am, expansion, ma'am, means when we heat an object, ma'am, uh, the cells which will be objects, they will just uh, move away, ma'am. There will be more, uh, more place between them. Cells? Uh, not cells, ma'am. Something particles, they will just move away. Okay. When generally expansion takes place? Ma'am, can you show the last heat, slide? Heat, ma'am. When we heat the yes. object, ma'am, it takes yes. place. Yes. When we heat, expansion takes place. When we cool, contraction, contraction takes place. Like example, solid will expand and gases, solid will expand yeah. and contract. Yeah, like a balloon uh, expanding when we Yes, like if we are blowing a balloon or blowing yeah. a cycle tube, it will expand, isn't it? This is because the air inside it is uh, expands by absorbing heat from the sun due to which it is. Okay, now after uh, like uh, now uh, when you keep cycle tire, cycle tube in the sunlight, it will burst, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma Sometimes it will burst. This is due to ma'am, ma'am, ma heavy expansion. Ma can I okay. say something? Yes. Getting ma heated about up. expansion and contraction, ma'am. Yes, like railway ma trains, railway rails, and wires. Ma the ma uh, can I say what is that? Ma 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 contraction. Contraction ma means anything becoming small. Okay, yeah. anything becoming small, like uh, suppose, see, mm, contraction and expansion. If I'm uh, in uh, winter season, if you see, uh, like there will be poles in our street, right? Ma'am. Right? Let me explain, please. There are poles in the street and where the wires are generally that keep like this. Have you seen? That's yes, visited totally. Please see the wires in your area around the poles. Actually, the wires they are uh, they are tied very loose instead of the tightness. So the wires are uh, tied very loose because in winter their contraction takes place due to which wire comes close like wire becomes stiff. Okay, so due to that, they will leave large wire there. 
okay uh, as well as in winter seasons you can find your doors which are becoming stiff yes ma'am my door becomes like that i mean summer it will just become thinner and winter it will just uh, become very big yes and also good be like uh, with a kind of good be like uh, having traffic. like when you are heating something it will become small like if i'm heating any plastic it will become small like it will contract okay Yeah, okay. For, for expansion, what example you can give for expansion? Um, like expansion very, very blowing uh, air into a yes. balloon. Yes, blowing air into balloon. This is an example you can give for expansion. Okay, so write the terms contraction and expansion. so contraction means generally contraction and expansion so material many material expands on heating yeah ma'am like uh... many materials expand on being heated and contract on being cooled okay like solid expands more or contracts more students ma and contract contracts solid expands or contracts more or gases contract expands or contract more among solid liquid and gases which contract and expand gases more? ma um, gases, um, gases expand more ma'am gases expand contract yes is solid. so solid expand or contract least solid expand or contract least while gas expand and contract the most so for example what we can uh, take example like expansion blowing ah uh, expansion or bursting expansion is bursting of bursting of balloons or cycle uh, cycle tube. tires yes cycle tube so cycle tube it will burst on its own when you kept in sun because from the sun it takes air it absorbs heat and air from the sun and it will burst mom why won't we get burst mom why we don't get burst we don't get burst if we, we expand sun. and contract no mom based on the temperature based on the climate how varshit is laughing 